Hi, welcome. Here we are going to understand what is uh, the exact definition for the fixed work. So in Microsoft Project Application, when we are uh, dealing, when we are uh, working in a different task, we used to come with a certain uh, definitions called fixed unit, fixed duration, and fixed work. So most of the people, you know, have uh, have a question on uh, these uh, these terms. What is meant by that, and uh, when to use that? So let us discuss uh, about this uh, fixed work in this uh, video. What is the purpose of this fixed you fixed work, and how it works in Microsoft Project? So for that, we are uh, going to follow a few steps as below to understand what is the meaning of this fixed work so when a task is assigned as as a fixed work how it behaves so that is what we are going to understand so in the step one let us try to create a paint the wall this is the one task that we are going to create and then in step two we are going to set a duration so let us discuss in the Microsoft project step by step. So I'm going to create a, the task which is called the paint to the wall. So I want to paint the wall in five days. So this is my expectation. Okay, so this is my expectation. I want to paint the wall in five days. So if I'm going to use one one person or two person, it doesn't matter. So my expectation is to complete this particular paint the wall, this particular task in five days. Okay, and it doesn't matter how many work you know a person is going to do. So this is my initial expectation. And uh, each task, you know, initially it is set as a manual. So I'm going to change that manual to automatic, auto schedule. So that uh, the start and the finish date and the rest of the data is calculated by the application itself. So let's try to change this to auto schedule. So now if you see that uh, the start and the finish date are automatically reflecting. The start date is nothing but the, 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 the today's date. So I'm going to change that to start date to the next Monday. Here it is uh, November 14th. Okay. So when you see that the finish date is automatically calculated based on the five days duration so it is set as November 18 okay now let's go to so if you want to change if you want to look at the properties of this particular task you can just go ahead and click on the information and you will see that uh, the, the few details the percentage of work is zero it's not uh, not yet uh, started it's a five days duration and if you go to advanced you will see that uh, the task type is by default it is fixed unit this is where we are going to try and, and understand what will happen if I use a fixed work as a task okay as of now let's cancel it so this is what we have done so let's go to the step next step where I'm going to add one candidate who is hundred percent available 100% available means he is going to work 8 hours per day as per my expectation. So 8 hours per day is desired in the project itself. So by just going to file, options, schedule, we will see that my default, the person, if he works by 8 hours per day, it means he is 100% utilized. Okay, so now I'm going to add this particular candidate in the resource sheet. So when I just type uh, the name and the first tab, you know, and the rest of the fields are calculated by default. So 100% by default is available. So now I'm going to this uh, the task task page, and uh, here I'm going to assign that particular candidate to this task, so that the guy, this particular candidate can start work on this particular task and before that I want to add this one particular column called work which is already hidden 
I want to just display it. So insert that column work. So by default, since there is no candidate assigned to this task, so far zero hours of work. So that is no one is actually working now. Okay. So now I'm going to assign this particular candidate to this task. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to the task form page and I'm going to assign this particular candidate. And now is the challenge. Now it's the it's the work that I'm going to do. Here we are working on understanding what is meant by the fixed work. If a task is a fixed work, how it behaves that's what our expectation so let's try to change the fixed unit to the fixed work and then I'm going to assign this particular candidate so by default here if you see that this guy is going to work for eight hours five days so I'm expecting five into eight forty hours he will be available so this is the basic expectation so now how to understand this fixed work? We know that the work is calculated by duration and the unit of work. Work is equal to duration into the unit of work. So 5 into 8 is equal to 40. So in the fixed work, if a task is a fixed uh, work, what will happen if I change the work? What will happen if I change the duration? What will happen if I change a unit of work that is 8 hours per day? So in the, that is what we are going to understand. So let's try it out each step by step. So now in the first step I'm going to try to change the 8 hours per day to 10 hours per day for this particular resource. That is unit of work that I'm going to change. I want to see if I change the unit of work in a fixed work type of task what it's going to get impact whether the duration will impact or the work will get impact let us see so what I'm going to do is here this task is already a fixed work the resources already assigned who is going to work is already working for 8 hours I'm saying that this guy is going to work for 10 hours now and I want to see what is an impact now if you see the work remains the same and the duration has been reduced it is because the candidate previously believed that he is going to work 40 hours per 40 hours to complete this particular task and he was given four days five days earlier and once I change say that this guy is going to work for another two hours every day he knows that from his perspective he, he knows that he need only 40 hours of work since it is a fixed work so since it is a fixed work he completes that work in four days so hope you understand now so now I'm going to undo the changes by pressing ctrl Z so that it reverts back to the same eight hours per day let's validate this yes eight hours per day Okay, now I'm going to, so we understood what will happen if I change the unit of work. If I change the unit of work, the duration changes. So now, if I change the duration of, duration to 5 days to 10 days, what will happen? We, we can easily understand that the work will not get impacted because the task is a fixed work. So I'm expecting that the unit of work will change so let us see so since the unit of work is going to change let us try to see how the unit of work is is assigned as of now see let's see this guy is working for eight hours per day right so if I click on the resource usage we see that unit of work is showing us eight hours per day eight hours per day okay that's fine So now let us try to change the duration to 10 days. 
Now if you'll see, since a fixed, since a task is a fixed work, I don't expect that the 40 hours to reduce or increase, but I expect the unit of work reduces. So now when I look at the resource usage, I can see that the application intelligently identify that this unit of work is 4 hours per day because this guy and candidate is, doesn't need to work for 8 hours even though he is available for 8 hours that is 100% he is available but application says that only 4 hours is required for completing this particular 40 hours of work because we are given we have enough days 10 days of work 10 days we have so the work remains the same for this particular task okay so let's do undo the changes once again and get back to the the same original status okay five days okay now let us try to understand what will happen if I change the work itself. This is a fixed work, but I'm changing the work itself to 40 hours to 20 hours. So here it's very simple. We expect that duration will change because logically it cannot, the system cannot reduce the unit of work because it is not, it cannot be decided. So if I change the the work, I expect the duration will get impacted. So let us try to change that now. 40 hours and reduce into 20 hours. So I expect that the duration will become 2.5 days. Okay. So now that this explains how a fixed work the task if it is actually set as fixed work how the system behaves if you change a unit of work if you change the duration of the work if you change the work so this I hope that this explains and helps you understand the, the purpose of this fixed work task thanks for watching